iOS 15.7 just officially came out, so let's go and take a look at it on the iPhone 11. Now, I will definitely tell you this is not, you know, the biggest feature full update of all time, but this is a very important update, more so because iOS 16 just came out, and this is going to be the most secure version of software for the next, probably the next few months, and this is where I would probably recommend staying at. Now the setup as always is basic, we get to the welcome to iPhone screen right after this, but when I look at this version of software, I can see to myself that this is a very crucial update for the next few weeks and few months. This was a bug fix update at its core. It didn't bring any cool features or anything like that, you can even see from the release log, this update contains important security updates and is recommended for all users. Funny enough, if you're coming from another version of software, I think 5.4 gigabytes is what you're getting with, which is very strange. It should theoretically be only a couple hundred megabytes if you're coming from the previous version of software. So I hope you don't get the impression it's a, that big of an update. It just has to reinstall, you know, software. Also, if you're rocking the beta, it is the official version, pretty much the same as I think too. Now, the first thing being, if you're wanting the best version of software right now, this is it. I think this is going to be the most stable version of software, making it the best one. It doesn't have the coolest features, it doesn't have been sending iMessages, but on the iPhone 11, it's not the oldest phone, it's not the newest phone, but still, I would not recommend installing iOS 16 on any of these iPhones yet. Funny enough, if you make your way over to your, you know, actual general settings here, click on software update. For some reason, I do not get the iOS 16 update on any of my iPhones, which is very strange. I don't know if it's still glitching for other people, but very strange if you install 15.7. I guess you can't go up to iOS 16 yet, which is very strange. And overall, it's just going to be a more fluid experience. I'm going to test it for the next few days, but the reason I wouldn't recommend installing iOS 16 yet on the iPhone 11 is the same reason I wouldn't recommend installing it on any iPhone. It is not that stable version of the software yet. I think it's going to be getting better throughout time, but with iOS 16, it's just so new. You know, even with an iPhone 11, it's, you know, been aged up a little bit. I think iOS 16, I would recommend waiting out until iOS 15 officially comes out. If you plan on even going remotely close to iOS 16, recommend doing a backup, as many backups as you can, back up your photos, back up everything, and then go and update if you want to after, but I would recommend backing it up for sure. So that kind of covers it up. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would be so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video.